Pavel Yashinitsa. Pavel Yashinitsa was the pen name of Leon Lechbainer, November 10, 1909, August 19, 1970, a Polish historian, journalist, essayist and soldier. During World War II, Yashinitsa, then, Leon Boehner, fought in the Polish army, and later, the Home Army Resistance. Near the end of the war, he was also working with the anti-Soviet resistance, which later led to him taking up a new name, Pavel Yashinitsa, to hide from the communist government of the People's Republic of Poland. He was associated with the Tygodnik Pauseczny Weekly and several other newspapers and magazines. He is best known for his 1960s books on Polish history on the Kingdom of Poland under the Piast dynasty, the JGLN dynasty, and the elected kings of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Those books, still popular, played an important role in popularizing Polish history among several generations of readers. Jaszczynica became an outspoken critic of the censorship in the People's Republic of Poland, and as a notable dissident, he was persecuted by the government. He was subject to significant invigilation, oversight, by the security services, and his second wife was in fact an agent of the communist secret police. For a brief period marking the end of his life, his books were prohibited from being distributed or printed. Boehner was born on November 10, 1909 in Simbirsk, Russia, to Polish parents, Nikolai Boehner and Helena Melisewska. His paternal grandfather, Ludwig Boehner, fought in the January Uprising and married a Spanish woman, Joanna de la Fugas. His maternal grandfather, Viktor Melisewski, fought in the November Uprising. Both of his grandfathers eventually settled in the Russian Empire. His father, Nikolai, worked as an agronomist. Boehner's family lived in Russia and Ukraine. They moved from Simbirsk to a location near Bielitserkva and Duman, then to Kiev until the Russian Revolution of 1917, after which they decided to settle in the independent Poland. After a brief stay in Warsaw, during the Polish-Soviet War, his family settled in Opatow, and in 1924, moved to Grodno. Boehner graduated from gymnasium, secondary school, in Vilno, Vilnius, and graduated in history from Stefan Batory University in Vilno, his thesis concerned the January Uprising. At the university he was an active member of several organizations including Club Intellectualisto, Intellectuals Club, and Academiki Club Wurchego, Academic Club of Vagabonds. After graduating, he finished training for the officer cadet, Potkarezi, in the Polish Army. From 1928 to 1937 he lived in Grodna where he worked as a history teacher in a gymnasium, later he was employed as an announcer for Polish radio Vilno. Here also, Boehner embarked on his career as author and essayist, writing for a Vilnius conservative newspaper, The Word. On November 11, 1934 he married Ladislawa Adamowicz, and in 1938 his daughter Eva was born. In 1935 he published his first history book, about King Sigismund II Augustus, Zygmunt August Nazimiak Donigo Wielkiego Xiestwa. Sigismund Augustus on the lands of the former Grand Duchy, of Lithuania. During World War II, Boehner was a soldier in the Polish army, fighting the German Wehrmacht when it invaded Poland in September 1939. He commanded a platoon near Sandomierz and was eventually taken prisoner by the Germans. While in a temporary prisoner of war camp in Opatow, he was able to escape with the help of some old school friends from the time his family lived there in the early 1920s. He joined the Polish underground organization. Zwiezek Wakis Brojne, Association for Armed Combat, later transformed into the Armia Krajowa, a.k. the Home Army, and continued the fight against the Germans. In the resistance he had the rank of lieutenant, worked in the local Vilno headquarters and was an editor of an underground newspaper Piobudka. He was also involved in the underground teaching. In July 1944 he took part in the operation aimed at the liberation of Vilno from the Germans, Operation Ostrobrama. In the wake of this operation, around 19 to 21 August, his partisan unit, like many others, was intercepted and attacked by the Soviets. He was taken prisoner. Sources vary as to whether he was to be exiled to Siberia or conscripted into the Polish People's Army. Either way, he escaped and rejoined AK Partisans, the Home Army 5th Vilno Brigade. For a while, he was an aide to Major Zygmunt Senjelars, Lou Pasco, and was member of the anti-Soviet resistance, Wolnia Chinese Wislisk, Win, Freedom and Independence. He was promoted to the rank of captain. Wounded in August 1945, he left the brigade before it was destroyed by the Soviets, and avoided the fate of most of its officers who were sentenced to death. 
While recovering from his wounds, he found shelter in the village of Yashinitsa. After recovering from his wounds in 1945, Boehner decided to leave the resistance, and instead began publishing in an independent Catholic weekly Tygodnik Pausechny. It was then that he took the pen name Yashinitsa, from the name of the place where he had received treatment for his injuries, in order not to endanger his wife, who was still living in Soviet-controlled Vilnius, Lithuania. Soon he became a member of the weekly staff and then an editor. In 1948 he was arrested by the Polish secret police, but after several weeks was released after the intervention of Boleslav Piasecki from the Pax Association. In gratitude to Piasecki, their fader he worked with Pax, leaving Tygodnik Pausechny for Pax in 1950. In 1950, he became a director of the Polish Caritas charity. Yashinitsa became a member of the club Krzywiko Kola, Curved Circle Club, which is past free speech and open discussion. His essays were published in Szyutro, Slow Pausechny, Zhichu Orzhua i. Poprost II. From at least this period until his death he would live in Warsaw. His wife Ladislawa died March 29, 1965. Over time, he became increasingly involved in various dissident organizations. In December 1959, he became a vice president of the Union of Polish Writers Zwiezik Literatel Polskich, ZLP. He also published in the magazine Szwat, 1951-1969. In 1962 he was the last president of the Literary Discussion Society, Club Krzywiko Kola. In 1966 he was a vice president of the Penn Club. While in the late 1940s and 1950s he focused mostly on journalistic activity, later he turned to writing popular history in book format. In the 1960s he wrote his most famous works, historical books about history of Poland, the Kingdom of Poland in the times of the Piast dynasty, the Jagiellonian dynasty and the era of elected kings, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. His book on Jagiellonian in Poland was recognized as the best book of the year by the readers. Yashinitsa was, however, very outspoken in his criticism of the censorship in the People's Republic of Poland. On February 29, 1968 during a ZLP meeting, J. Zimia presented a harsh critique of the government. These acts, and in particular his signing of the dissident in 1964 against censorship and his involvement in the 1968 protests led to his being labeled a political dissident, for which he suffered government persecution. Partly as a response to government's persecution of Yashinitsa, in 1968 the satirist Janusz Spatansky dedicated one of his anti-government poems, Ballada o Lupas, The Ballad of Lupasko, written while Spatansky was in Makotov prison, to the writer. In the aftermath of the 1968 events, Polish communist media, and communist leader, Władysław Kamuka, on March 19, 1968, alleged that in 1948 Yashinitsa was freed because he collaborated with the communist regime, this allegation caused much controversy and damaged Yashinitsa's reputation. He was subject to much invigilation, oversight, by the security services. In December 1969, five years after his first wife's death, he remarried. This marriage, proved to be highly controversial as it was discovered after his death that his second wife, Zofia Dorowska Obreteni, had been a secret police informant before their marriage, and continued to write reports about him throughout their marriage. From 1968 until his death, his books were prohibited from being distributed or printed. Yashinitsa died from cancer on August 19, 1970 in Warsaw. Some publicists later speculated to what extent his death was caused by hounding from the party establishment. He is buried in Warsaw's Pawiski Cemetery. His funeral was attended by many dissidents and became a political manifestation, Adam Mike Nikrakal seeing in Tony Slonimsky, Stefan Kizielewski, Stanislaw Stama, Jerzy Andrzejewski, Jan Józef Lipski, and Władysław Bartoszewski. Boden Kivinsky read a letter from Antoni Galiabiu. Yashinitsa book publishing begun with a historical book, Zygmunt August Nazimiak Donigo Wilkiego Xiestwa, Sigismund Augustus in the Lands of Former Grand Duchy, 1935. He is best known for his highly acclaimed and popular historical books from the 1960s about Pias Poland, JGL in Poland and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Polska Piasto, Pias Poland, 1960, Polska JGL now, JGL in Poland, 1963 and the trilogy Rezexpis Belita Obrochka Narado, The Commonwealth of Both Nations, 1967-1972.
This trilogy made him one of the most popular Polish history writers. Throughout his life he avoided writing about modern history, to minimize the influence that the official, communist Marxist historiography would have on his works. This was also one of the reasons for the popularity of his works, which were seen as a rare, legally obtainable alternative to the official version of history. His books, publication of which resumed once again after his death, were labeled as best-selling, and became the most reprinted post-war history of Poland. History Drogi, Two Ways, 1959, about the January uprising of the 1860s represent the latest historical period he has tackled out his other popular historical books include Chet Kronikars, Three Chroniclers, 1964, a book about three medieval chroniclers of Polish history, Thiet Marof Merzeberg, Gallus Anonymous and Vincenta Kadlebek, in which he discusses the Polish society through ages, and Ostatnia Zirodu, Last of the Family, 1965, about the last queen of the Jagiellon dynasty, Anna Jagiellonka. His Rose Wasania o Wojni Domowie, 1978, Thoughts on Civil War, where the last book has finished, unlike majority of his other works, this book is ostensibly about the Civil War, Schwinri, in Brittany. France. This work does, however, contains numerous arguments applicable to more modern Polish history, arguments that Yashinitsa thought would not be allowed to be the censors if the book discussed Polish history. In addition to historical books, Yashinitsa wrote a series of essays about archaeology, Slowinski wrote Awad, Slavic Genealogy, 1961, and Archaeologia Neurigi. Reportes, Archaeological Excerpts, Reports, 1956. Journalistic Travel Reports, Wiswap Zegnizationek, Krina Jangtsi, and Science and Technology, Opawi Sio Zywe Materiai, Zakat Wicheni. Those works were mostly created around the 1950s and 1960s. His Pamietnik, Memoirs, was the work that he began shortly before his death, and that was never completely finished. In 2006, Polish journalist and former dissident Adam Miknik said that Polish historian Henryk Samson Alex echoes Miknik's essay in his introduction to a recent, 2008, edition of Czech Kronikars, describing Yashinitsa as a person who did much to popularize Polish history. Hungarian historian Balazs Trenchini notes that Yashinitsa's impact of the formation of the popular interpretation of Polish history is hard to overestimate. British historian Norman Davis, himself an author of a popular account of Polish history, God's Playground, notes that Yashinitsa, while more of a historical writer than an academic historian, had formidable talents, gained much popularity and that his works would find no equals in the time of communist Poland. Sam Sinawix notes that Yashinitsa was a brave writer, going against prevailing system, and willing to propose new hypotheses and reinterpret history in innovative ways. Miknik notes how Yashinitsa was willing to write about Polish mistakes, for example in the treatment of Cossacks. Ukrainian historian Stephen Vlychenko also positively commented on Yashinitsa's extensive coverage of the Polish-Ukrainian history. Both Miknik and Samson Alex note how Yashinitsa's works contain hidden messages in which Yashinitsa discusses more contemporary history, such as in his Rose Wozniak. Several of Yashinitsa's books have been translated into English by Alexander Jordan and published by the American Institute of Polish Culture, based in Miami, Florida. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.